It was ex-Colt linebacker Ray May who instituted hand-holding in the defensive huddle as a symbol of the new team togetherness in Denver. And now the Broncos are embracing all sorts of strange and wonderful thoughts. And one of the strangest of those wonderful thoughts was that the Broncos could defeat the Kansas City Chiefs in their showdown for first place in the AFC West. Denver has defeated Kansas City only twice in 27 meetings, but since John Ralston has taken over as the Broncos head coach, they regard that statistic as an artifact of ancient history. But very little has changed in Kansas City, and from the outset, the Chiefs work to remind the Denver Broncos that history has a way of repeating itself. But quarterback Charlie Johnson and receiver Haven Moses are relatively recent additions to Team Denver. And they had no way of knowing that they were supposed to be routed by Hank Stram's strong men. And with two minutes remaining in the first half, Haven Moses made a nice one-handed grab of this Charlie Johnson pass to complete an 18-yard touchdown play and give Denver the lead 7 to nothing. A repeat of the play shows that Johnson's quick release caught Kansas City cornerback Nate Allen with his back turned. And Moses took advantage of this to come back for the ball and the touchdown. And after an interception with only 45 seconds remaining in the half, Johnson came back to Haven Moses, who stepped through the Chiefs' secondary to complete a 40-yard play and give Denver a 14-0 advantage. Throughout the second half, the Chiefs threatened to come from behind as Mike Livingston found Otis Taylor for consistent gains. In the fourth period, Livingston found Taylor for a touchdown, making the score 14 to 10 in Denver's favor. But thereafter, the Broncos' hand-holding defense shut down the Kansas City threat to record a vital victory for the reinvigorated Denver Broncos, leaving them alone atop the AFC West for the first time ever so late in the season, with visions of Super Bowl dancing in their heads. 